Welcome to Facts TV tonight we'll be featuring legend known as Leslie Sebastian Charles MBE known professionally as Billy Ocean. Ocean was born on January 21, 1950 in Fizabad, Trinidad and Tobago to Haynes Lay Charles, a Grenadian musician, and his wife Violet. He moved to Romford, Essex, England when he was 10 years old shortly before Trinidad and Tobago became independent in 1962. Billy Ocean got exposed to music at an early age. He sang regularly in a London nightclub while also working as a tailor in London Seville Row. Billy Ocean was discovered by his first manager, John Morphew, who recorded a double A-side single at Pi Studios in London with a full orchestra. However, the ballad singing style of Ocean was going out of fashion, and Morphew was unable to get any major label to release it. It remains unreleased. Ocean's father, who had countersigned the management contract as Ocean was underage, asked Morphew to release him from the recording contract, which he did without penalty. In 1969, he joined the Shades of Midnight, playing in the Shoreditch area of London. He recorded Nashville Rain, his first single, backed with Sun in the Morning, in 1971 for Spark Records under the name Les Charles, and for two years fronted a studio band called Scorched Earth with whom he released on the run backed with Let's Put Our Emotions in Motion in 1974. In an interview with MYF Warhurst on ABC Radio Melbourne, Ocean narrated the story of his stage name being derived from the local Ocean estate, Stepney in London's East End, where he was living at the time, was incorrect. The name was actually derived from a local football team in his hometown in Trinidad and Tobago, named Ocean's Eleven. In 1976, he recorded his debut studio album Billy Ocean, with its first single release, Love Really Hurts Without You, charting at number 2 on the UK Singles Chart and number 22 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Billy Ocean through his record label GTO released for studio albums, Billy Ocean, 1976, City Limit, 1980, Nights, Feel Like Getting Down, 1981, and Inner Feelings, 1982. This song's never scored success on any musical charts, aside from his biggest single up to that point, 1970 SIXS Love Really Hurts Without You, which was a top 40 and a top 10 hit in both the UK, number 2, and the US, number 22. When Sony Music acquired GTO Records in 1978, Ocean was shifted to Jive from Epic, in which he received a second breakthrough in his career in the early 1980s. In 1984, he released studio album Suddenly and its main single, Caribbean Queen, No More Love on the Run, becoming successes on the charts. Caribbean Queen became Ocean's first number one single on both the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and Hot Black Singles charts in late 1984, and the album debuted in the top 10, peaking at number 9 on both the U.S. Billboard 200 and the U.K. albums chart simultaneously in the U.S. and U.K. Suddenly reached gold in the U.K., and was certified double platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. He also recorded with Scott Walker in 1984, singing harmony vocals on track 3 from Walker's 11th studio album Climate of Hunter. Caribbean Queen got Ocean two Grammy Award nominations, and he won the Grammy Award for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance at the 1985 Grammy Awards. Ocean was later presented his award by Jeffrey Daniel of vocal group Shalimar on 620 Soul Train, a UK incarnation of the American musical variety television show Soul Train. The album's title track also became a success, peaking at number 4 in both the US and the UK. In 1985, the song Loverboy was a number 2 US Ocean appeared at Live Aid from JFK Stadium in Philadelphia in 1985. His sixth studio album Love Zone, 1986, also sold successfully. Followed by successful singles When the Going Gets Tough, The Tough Get Going, based on the film The Jewel of the Nile, 1985, it was a number one in the UK and a number two in the United States, and There'll Be Sad Songs, To Make You Cry, a US number one and track Love Is Forever, was number ten. This also earned Ocean a second nomination for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance at the 1987 Grammy Awards. In February 1986, Ocean's music video for When the Going Gets Tough, The Tough Get Going was banned by the BBC, owing to such non-union members as the American actors Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner and Danny DeVito, 
all three of whom were cast members of Romancing the Stone, 1984, and The Jewel of the Nile, 1985. In 1987, he was nominated for the Brit Award for Best British Male Artist. He was the most popular British R&B singer-songwriter of the early to mid-1980s. In 1993, Ocean's 8th studio album Time to Move On, 1993, did not perform well, but his 1989 Greatest Hits collection has been selling well over the years, and his 1997 compilation album L.I.F.E., Love is Forever made number 7 on the UK Albums Chart. Ocean's last studio album for Jive Records was Time to Move On, which he recorded in Chicago with R&B star R. Kelly. In 2002, the University of Westminster in London awarded Ocean an honorary doctorate of music. The ceremony was conducted Barbican Center in London. Billy Ocean still tours and records in Europe. Ocean, a patron for tech music schools in London, made up of drum tech, vocal tech, guitar acts, and keyboard tech. He regularly visits to hold clinics and seminars for the students. In 2004, Caribbean Queen, No More Love on the Run, was re-released as a digital single for its 20th anniversary, shooting up to number 25 on the Billboard Digital Singles Chart and garnering radio play across the United States and UK. A remix of the single by Will Am was released in 2005. In February and March 2008, he toured Australia and the Far East. His ninth studio album, Because I Love You, was released on February 2, 2009. In April 2010, an 18-track compilation album was released in the UK by Sony Music titled The Very Best of Billy Ocean to tie in with a 30-day tour of the UK and Ireland. Featuring Ocean's biggest hits, the album debuted in the UK Albums Chart at number 17. On October 20th, 2010, Ocean was presented with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the MOBO Awards in London. On July 29, 2011, Ocean became a companion of the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. His title was presented by Paul McCartney. In 2012, Ocean made appearances in the British comedy film Keith Lemon, the film as Lemon's father. In January 2016, Ocean also appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon to perform some of his hits as part of a promo tour for his new album. On April 17, 2020, the album One World, Ocean recorded a new studio album in mid-2019 at Eve Studios in Stockport, working again with producer Barry Eastman as co-writer. After a delay, it was later released on September 4, 2020. Ocean has lived in Sunningdale, Berkshire, England, with his wife Judy, since 1978. They have three children. They have a son who played rugby sevens at the 2014 Commonwealth Games for Barbados. Ocean decided to become vegetarian after the loss of his mother, who died from ovarian cancer in 1989. Billy Ocean is a member of the Rastafari movement. Ocean was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire, MBE, in the 2020 New Year Honours for Services to Music. Thank you for watching Facts TV. Subscribe.